From the Wabash Valley Chevy Dealers Sports Desk, here's Jack Burney. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. We're wrapping up our coverage of the 107th Indianapolis 500 that you saw right here on WTWO. Another wild finish as we take you to the highlights. We would get off to a wild start. Graham Rahal could not take off for warm-ups. They would look at his battery, and he would eventually get it going. Speaking of going, a Jedi and Sith himself, Kylo Ren. Adam Driver, Indiana's own, waving the green flag as we get underway. The, the first caution of the day would come courtesy of rookie Stingray Rob, who hits the wall, which would end his day. Stingray done for the day at his first Indy. 500. A little later in the race, pole one, Alex Pillow and Rhinus VK collide in the pits, bringing about another caution after both drivers had solid days on the yard of bricks. The moment everyone is talking about, Felix Rosenquist hits the wall, lost control of his steering, and Cal Kirkwood's front left wheel collides with that and flies into the crowd, hitting a car, and his car flips, causing a red flag with 14 laps to go. For the first time since 1997, we would have a green and white finish. One crazy lap as Erickson with the lead, looking for back-to-back back, but it's Joseph Newgarden taking the lead, and Newgarden wins his first ever Indianapolis 500 for Team Penske. Marcus Erickson second, and Santino Ferrucci finishes third on a wild finish here at the Yard of Bricks. Sports Director Grant Pugh caught up with today's winner, Joseph Newgarden. We are here with the 107th running of the Indy 500 champion, Joseph Newgarden. Joseph, how does that sound? You got the monkey off your back, so to speak. It's so good. I mean, I know everybody knows in Indiana what the Indy 500 is all about it's so special there's not a bad seat in this place I, I truly mean that doesn't matter if you're sitting turn one turn four working on the car driving the car they're all good seats they all make the energy you know and what this place is but it, it is having done this race 12 years now to finally win it with this team I just feel I feel like a weight has just been pulled off me you have no idea uh, there's so much pressure that goes into this event and especially the way this thing finished you know all the red flags and you know having the last lap shootout it, there's not there's not a harder Indy 500 I, I think that you can win than that and so I'm just so grateful to be here and you know to, to, to finish the way we did is really special. Take me through that final sequence there you, you win it and you climb the fence get into the stands right away. Man for me I, I've always wanted to win this race and I, I said if I'm fortunate enough to be here and have an opportunity to win it I'm going in the crowd. I just I know the energy of Indianapolis and I, I wanted to feel that and so I've always I've always wanted to do it and you know to have the privilege today was a real honor. Finally from one Tennessee into another get a little rocky top maybe we love Indiana we love Tennessee. Oh, man. Little... You put me on the spot you do it you're the, you're the hey, Tennessee. Hey, that's okay but we can celebrate in Indiana and Tennessee tonight right? Yeah absolutely brother. Congrats my man. Thank you. It wasn't really a fair way to end it and then that was makes me most disappointed I think we did everything right I think we, we had it won and, and I think they should have called it I think that would have been the safe thing to do. I think obviously IndyCar's doing the right thing. I, I'm not gonna not gonna knock them for going red and giving us all a chance. Um, there's nothing. <laughs> what are you gonna do with that? You want to finish under green for the fans, which we did. At the end of the day, it's about the fans. Um, we just weren't there on that last restart like we needed to be, and you know it hurts, but that's that's racing. The Indy 500, not the only championship won in the state of Indiana, is the Indiana State Sycamores bring home the Missouri Valley Conference title yesterday. Grant Pugh has the story on how the Sycamores captured their first title since 2019. Bottom nine, it's Edmondson striking out to end the game as Indiana State gets the dog pile. They win the Missouri Valley tourney for the first time since 2019. Six to nothing, the final. Sycamores officially punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament. I mean, it feels great. Um, you know, tomorrow we got to get back to work because honestly, this is the expectation we gotta we gotta keep going we gotta get, get to Omaha and, and win a national championship that's what we're trying to do here and that's the expectation nothing less that was I won't lie I was in there in between and before the ninth inning thinking about getting that last K and celebrating with the guys and having everybody run at me and it happened and that was one of the best moments of my life that was awesome you know playing here all season and <laughs> the crowd they're loyal but to see the Bob Warren filled like this and the energy Nothing beats it. The crowd erupting after that last out was an unbeatable feeling. I mean, it's awesome. Man, I, I, saw, I saw, like, Twitter, everybody, everywhere, like, people talking about us. But, like, we keep playing like an underdog, you know. So, like, we keep battling every time, pitch by pitch, inning by inning. And, like, we play like a family, you know, together every time and keep battling to everybody, you know. We needed this. Uh, we needed press. I was sitting there in the dugout as this game wore on. I thought, you know what? You need this before you go into the next round. 
sometimes you need pressed and pushed and uh, I was just glad with the, the guys responded the way they did. I, I know the last month has been hard on them. We've been in a no-lose scenario with the RPI and trying to trying to stay where we're at and I, I'm not going to say it hasn't been stressful. It's a grind, but they have they have been resilient and responded and done a heck of a job to get us to this point. Indiana State found out tonight that they are indeed hosting a regional and they will find out their opponents tomorrow at the selection show. Be sure to tune in to WTWO News tomorrow as we will have the selection show here from the Sycamores and plus all your sectional baseball coverage. I'm Jack Bernie from the Racing Capital World. Back to you guys in the studio.